Good morning, dear friends, fellow alumnus, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome everyone to our AABN's 105th webinar series. Despite unprecedented period in recent times, we managed to stay in touch with each other and create positive pathways for all of this group. For that, a big thanks for your faith and support. As we try hard to put behind us the memories, it is time for renewal and rejuvenation. Let me run you quickly through the ideals on which AABN was built before spelling out our future course and moving on to welcome one and all and introduce to you our distinguished speaker for the day. AABN began as a fledgling outfit to connect professionals on a proactive platform to exchange useful information and contacts, also became an informal avenue to meet and listen to game changers, the fields of engineering, agriculture, marketing, entrepreneurship, business management, etc. through interact interactive sessions. Thanks to the strong work fundamentals, clear goals, and wonderful commandment on which this network was built, we grew in leaps and bounds. The office bearers of AABN unanimously felt that the time had come to go beyond webinars and expand AABN's wings to cover a larger group drawn from multidisciplines and create visibility for our entrepreneurs. If you want to write a book for whatever reason, it's important to know what kind of author you actually want to be so you know what strategy to use to sell books. We heard much these days about the rise of the author as entrepreneurs. A couple of decades ago, the definition of, the definition of an author was purely one-dimensional, a person who writes a book and is published by a publisher. This definition has now changed. Today, an author creates a product which is her or his manuscript and shows that it will give readers some value and find, connects, and, in, and interacts with the potential target readers. So essentially, this is how an author is an entrepreneur. This change is large because publishing tools, scope, and expertise are now easily available. They have to make greater control over the book and use different routes to reach target readers. Also now, with a heavy proposition of books selling online, apart from the distribution system, what is imperative is to make the book reach the right places online. Working with entrepreneurs in general is the amazing people we get to meet. Entrepreneurs, in, entrepreneurs by nature are interesting and adventurous people. I was fortunate recently to be introduced to Manju Monohar, one of the many successful entrepreneurs. Manju is most well known for writing The Lady with the Magic Lamp, a book about a real life national awardee. What's even cooler is that Manju is equally as passionate about entrepreneurship as we are. That is why when we first spoke, we thought it would be awesome for her and our group to have her deliver a speech today at our forum on the right way when entrepreneurship and authorship meet and make her available for this inter interactive business networking session. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome Manju Monohar as our guest, as a special guest speaker. Before I hand over the floor to her, let me quickly run through her achievements, a long list that has been cut short rather reluctantly by me to save time. Manju Monohar, PMP, DTM, founder of Win With, uh, Win With Manju, multi-award winning leader, author, TEDx coach, internationally certified career coach, certified career counselor, certified NLP practitioner, social ambassador for IDF. She has a BTEC degree in electronics and communication engineering system from Bits Pilani and a one year master's diploma program in sales and management from IIM Koriko. Manju has overall 22 plus years of experience and is a multi-award winning author, an entrepreneur and success coach whose book, The Lady with the Magic Lamp, has been an Amazon bestseller. She's a TEDx coach and a professional speaker who has given multiple sessions at leading MNCs of India as well as educational institutions of India. She has also given sessions in UK, South Africa and UAE. At a, as a world's, at a world's leading experimental learning services provider, namely at the Toastmasters International, present in 149 countries, she has secured the highest level of education, educational certification possible, the distinguished Toastmaster. She is a PMP certificate manager who has handled multiple portfolios for clients, including American Express Bank, RBS, China Chartered Bank, Boeing, etc. Her hobbies and interests are drivers, meeting people, or diverse meeting people, traveling, reading, writing, watching movies, etc. Manju admires Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Tony Roberts. Manju's style, her knowledge of the topic, and her ability to engage the audience will ensure that attendees today will take away 
will walk away with many uh, with several takeaways it will ensure that your attendance at the webinar today was more than worthwhile i'm not going to make you wait any longer we'll let manju take over and regale you with the rushed experience and fresh ideas thank you over to you manju thank you so much sir and distinguished guests it's a privilege to be part of this meeting and a very warm welcome to each and every one of you and to all the guests gathered here so sunday morning you are spending in such a worthwhile pursuit right pursuit of learning pursuit of skills etc skill development so such a wonderful morning i think this is exactly what probably dr apj abdul kalam envisage the whole indians you know the entire india should do wake up and then you know start learning work on our skills or maybe share our knowledge with each other i think that would be the right way to put it whatever knowledge you have you can share with me and whatever knowledge i have i'll be sharing with you in this particular session so this session i was telling gopi sir that probably i'll be asking you questions so that i can hear from you and your unique views as well i would like to know what is your take on say authorship or what is your take on entrepreneurship etc so before i share my screen i would like to ask you one question simple question you can type in the chat window uh, if you, uh, you can just type uh, say if you are an entrepreneur you can type why in the chat window why or yes so are you an entrepreneur already how many of you are entrepreneurs yes i see one why others also you can type in the chat window <laughs> yeah i think christopher sir has typed yes yeah samson okay okay that's a phone name <laughs> okay i think yeah few people are typing in yes yeah aspiring okay so the next question is how many of you are aspiring to be an entrepreneur maybe you are run, you are having a job now secure job but in the future you plan to be an entrepreneur i think for that probably we may get yeah aspire i think lot of people are typing aspire yes and what about students do we have any students in this group students if you are a student you can type s or st St student i'll just type like st like this student or stu you can type yeah any students in the group because accordingly i can uh, ask you questions that's why okay okay so there are students as well wonderful okay so now i'm going to share the screen let me know if you can see my screen okay hope you can see my screen are you able to see my screen uh, are you able to see my screen okay thank you so much yes now uh, when you look at this particular slide right uh, in this particular slide how many names can you identify okay the clue is there in the topic itself today's topic is authorship so please all put it on authors, slide mode please i already put it on slide mode hello sir hello it sir visible. it is visible it is visible okay thank it you it is visible okay okay thank you so maybe, much maybe maybe you can go to full screen mode yeah full screen mode yeah I, I am on full screen mode actually. Because on the sides you are able to see the other slides also. If you are on full screen, that should not oh, be. Oh, but uh, I have actually put it in slides. I think there's a system glitch, maybe. Okay, fine. No issue. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. You have to share the full screen, ma'am. You have to share the PPT. You have to share the full screen. You know, I did that. I already put it in. Uh, it the... is in the full screen mode only. I am yes. able to see the entire full screen. okay probably no there's a system delay here because i said no there's a power failure so there could be a slight glitch with respect to that here <laughs> okay so the right way when authorship and entrepreneurship meet right so all of these people are authors how many of you can you identify first of all how many authors can you see on the screen that's an easy question right out of these authors how many do you identify and in this particular set we have a person who is an entrepreneur and an author can you identify that one person 
I think many of you might have identified. Do you want a clue? Sudha Kawasaki. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Rab yes, yes, yes. The author, uh, I can give you a clue for the others. Uh, well done, sir. Well done. Uh, I can give a clue for the others. He's the author of The Rich Dad and Poor Dad. There is a famous book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So now if you Google, Robert I know you Yes, excellent, excellent. So you could spot him, right? Yes. So now, uh, if you know his history, right? Actually, now do you know what is his net worth? Net worth. I think, again, if you are going to Google, you'll be able to get the answer. But what is his net worth? Any guesses? Or maybe you can even go to Google and tell me. That's also fine. What is his net worth? He's among... He's no. among yeah. Yeah. What is his net worth? Do you want to type in the chat window? Net worth. Yeah. 7 billion, 4 billion. Yeah. So, yes. Rob, yes. It is actually probably like 100 million, but then, you know, it could be even more than that because with the market fluctuations, right? 100 million US dollars. Okay. But that was a good guess. Yeah, he is really, really rich. And do you know how he got rich? He was a normal person. He did run a lot of businesses. But the main business which made him go to this level, you know what? It was all with that book, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now, you may ask, just by writing a book, did he become rich? No, it was not just the book alone. Because in The Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? he had a unique idea, correct? So what he did is he, he actually uh, said that you can now conduct trainings based on this book's content. But whenever you conduct a training, you have to pay me. Are you seeing that entrepreneur in him? He actually uh, kind of, it's like ideas you get, you can patent, right? For some device and all that, right? For there, there may be a lot of engineers in this group, right? So, you know, if you have some particular idea, for building a new kind of maybe machinery, you can patent it. In a similar way, he actually kind of uh, took a copyright on that particular idea. So he said, now anybody in the world, if you have to conduct a training about rich dad, poor dad type of program, in fact, he developed it even beyond the book and then said that if any of you want to conduct a training, you can do it, but you have to pay me money. Now, through that licensing only, he actually grew his wealth to this 100 million US dollars. I think it could be even beyond that because with uh, share markets, etc., right? The actual uh, actual value of his assets could be, you know, changing every day. Okay, so that is Robert uh, in short. So now let's move on to the next slide. Yes, what is the definition of author? So this is a question to all of you. So you can tell me, what is the definition of author? What do you mean by author? What is in your mind the definition of an author? Anyone? Probably I can ask uh, Ganapati, sir, if he's the Dr. Ganapati. Dr. Ganapati or uh, maybe Shanmugas, Shanmugam, sir. What is the definition of an author? In plain English, somebody who yes. writes about yes. a particular topic, right? Awesome, awesome, yeah. Somebody, person, somebody yeah. who contributes through his yeah. or her writing. Okay, okay. Stalin, sir, okay. Contributes to uh, through writing. Yes, yes, uh, that is definitely, yeah. Uh, Any other... An authority on a particular subject. Awesome. Awesome. Authority. Yes. Actually, all of you are right. It's like someone who writes a book, definitely. And someone who is an author on that, you know, authority on that subject. In fact, the word, when you see, right, author and authority, right? So you're declaring to the world that you are an authority on that subject. Suppose you were to write a book about metaverse. I know it's a new concept. But one of you write a book about metaverse and how 
entrepreneurs can actually use metaverse to uh, launch new businesses right then you would be considered an authority on that subject metaverse wow it was a new concept it's just you know it's really new and in that now this particular association of people from anamle they are launching a book and how uh, entrepreneurs can leverage the power of metaverse to uh, you know maybe propagate their ideas etc or how they can leverage metaverse to take the world to the next level right so when you say authority automatically world looks up to you so that is why when you say author right people would be like oh looks like this person seems to know something about metaverse that is the first thought is a that crosses the person's mind yes now when we say how many of you know an author amongst your classmates or maybe your close circle how many of you are already living uh, in an apartment complex or maybe in your neighborhood maybe in the next in the next 1 to 2 kilometers how many of you are blessed to live with authors or probably in your close circle you already have say three or four authors how many of you are having that do you know any author not or not uh, not i didn't mean like yes christopher sir has raised his hand anyone else anyone else maybe hari priya vishnad vishnad sir balamurgan sir anyone okay so now if you see you know in this entire group it's a large group right in this entire group only christopher sir has mentioned that yes he is living uh, he has a friend yeah and then we have i think three more people gopi sir says his cousin stalin sir also says my friend yes a b n a b n also says uh, my friend a b n is i think some is it uh, what is a b n sir mr ba uh, mr balamurgan ah <laughs> okay balamurgan okay fine okay so balamurgan sir stalin sir and gopi sir and then we have christopher sir only four people here actually know an author who you know who who is amongst their friends or maybe who lives near to them etc right so one thing we can make out is that authors are not so common right you may have lot of people who have done graduation in a subject maybe masters in a subject how many of you have a masters degree in your subject how many of you can type uh, yes in the chat window how many of you have a masters degree or beyond maybe phd maybe post doctoral yeah okay lot of you yes okay now amongst masters degree holders how many of uh, you know a person with that masters degree having uh, written a book on that subject suppose you have done chemical engineering or maybe mechanical or maybe some other subject maybe psychology or any any kind of subjects but how many of you know a person with that subject itself knowledge itself they have written a book so now that is when you see the real india real india is when you know you do have a masters in that subject right but then people are, are having some kind of mystery behind okay how can i become an author of course people can write every one of you are capable of writing right every one of you can write about your uh, subjects yeah i think ravi sir wants to speak something do you want to say something sir okay yeah i am aware of two of my colleagues who wrote book on lab test method and on distillation so that should be something from chemical engineering background sir ns murthy sir has written yeah yeah that's right in yes. fact uh, in fact yeah. i also i also wrote a couple of chapters for astm for a book journal it's okay 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 if you enjoy wonderful. writing once in a while wonderful sir wonderful sir i think uh, see that's what people know how to write people are really experts uh, in their own domains in fact gopi sir was also telling me right he has worked for probably 29 30 30 plus 30 35 years almost right sir so with that kind of rich uh, experience you know there are uh, there are n number of books that you can write on your subject matter itself you don't have to write like chetan bhagat or sudha murthy about you know novels or maybe like 
Kalki did <laughs> for Nian Selvan, right? You can write books on your topic, right? Yeah. But unique books where your unique ideas come out. Okay, now the next question is, who is an entrepreneur? What do you mean when uh, entrepreneur? I think you entrepreneurs are the, yeah, Balad Murugan sir says, my friend wrote about cyber security book. Excellent, sir. Yes. So who is an entrepreneur? Yeah. I wrote a brochure. Okay. Murthy sir says he wrote a brochure on Madhura refinery as part of a PR activity. Excellent, sir. So who is an entrepreneur? That is the next yes. question. See, author we have established, right? Author is an authority on the subject and he is one who writes books. Excellent. Next would be uh, who, who is an entrepreneur? Yeah, Person I think Samson. Yeah. Yes. A Samson, I think someone with the name Samson has yes, been here. Uh, yeah. A person who takes a risk in investing and plans hmm. all the further actions in that. Awesome. Awesome. A uh, Gopi sir says business person. Any other any other thoughts on entrepreneur? I think some of you might be even Googling entrepreneurship, which is also fine. I don't mind. Because, you know, especially the students, I know, as and when the uh, class is going on, nowadays people keep Googling. That is also fine. What is uh, entrepreneurship? Who is an entrepreneur? Yes. Creating wealth for the society. Excellent. Creating value for the society and solves a problem. That is Ramesh sir. And uh, Murthy sir says, creates wealth for the society. Gopi sir is telling uh, about... Yes, he has also mentioned business person. Balamurgan sir says innovative idea. And then risk-taking ability by Usman sir. Dr. B. Ramanathan says excellence to perform well, to create values. And Arun Ramaswamy says entrepreneur brings out new innovative product service for use to people. And Christopher sir says who gives more than he receives to the world. I think Christopher sir himself is an entrepreneur, no? So great idea, great value. I wish all the entrepreneurs of the world thought that way, sir. Uh, who gives more than he receives to the world. I think, uh, I would say the result is an amalgamation of all the responses that you have put together, right? If you just uh, combine all of your answers, you have the answer. It's like, you know, uh, creation and extraction of uh, some economic value. Uh, you know, basically, uh, entrepreneur is a person who uh, provides some value to the society, right? Economic value to the society through some idea or through some services or products. Okay, now, definitely it involves risk, right? It involves risk, it involves a lot of other parameters as well, correct? So, but this one definition, I think Christopher's de sir's definition is not there in, uh, I don't see anywhere, but I think he uh, kind of uh, is a giver, right? Who gives more than he receives to the world. So that's part of his uh, philosophy. But definitely entrepreneur is someone who adds value, economic value to this society. Now, the question is why an entrepreneur should become an author? So before we look into that, right, why an entrepreneur should become an author, I have a very important question to you. So that is, why should a person become an author? Why do you want to become an author? As I said earlier, each of you may have your own expertise in your relevant field. Maybe you also want to write something like Kalki did. Why not? Even though you are from mechanical engineering background, why can't you create a work of fiction? Or maybe you have some unique story from your own life, how you kind of, you know, overcame all the challenges, obstacles, and then came up successful in life. So you may have some unique story, or maybe you encountered, maybe your grandfather overcame some peculiar challenge and he was a revolutionary. I'm just taking an example, okay? Maybe grandfather, maybe grandmother, who actually used to help everyone in the village even though she was not so rich like Ammani and all. People think that we need to be rich like Ammani or maybe Elon Musk to give. But sometimes, you know, to give or to help others, all it gives, all it needs is a loving heart or a giving heart, right? So many different stories could come. Now the question is, 
out of this a b c d e f g h right you can type in the chat window what is your option of course if you have an option beyond this you can type in the chat window as well why do you want to become an author of course to share an idea share knowledge to inform persuade entertain earn money become famous to become more credible okay i'll give you few more options for example i for inspire to inspire or motivate people right maybe you want to inspire or motivate people with the story of your great 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 grandfather right maybe he did something extraordinary because see we hear about what gandhi ji did nehru did what uh, you know uh, all those people maybe raja raja cholan did maybe our own uh, grandparents have done something really inspirational yes so ramesh says expression share knowledge question the status quo excellent it's like questioning the status quo and sharing the knowledge yeah sharing experience very good madam you are yeah. madam your screen is not changing oh you can't see my why do you want to become an author are you not able to see that screen why do you no, want no, to no. i think you have to share the screen that you are seeing i think you have share the ppt main window so which uh -huh. is still in the same one you have to share the one which your slide woman so i am i have shared but as i said no there's a uh, we have that power mm -hmm. issue here at home so due to which there's some kind of glitch i guess i, uh, I, don't, I think probably you try sharing the entire desktop probably we'll see we will also see what you are seeing okay i'll sh try sharing again yeah Point. so are you able to see it now probably it's loading and uh, loading ah uh, now it is okay okay i think the zoom is hang are you able i think the zoom no with the uh, fluctuating power right we having a bit of a situation now it is okay i think i got disconnected due to the ss the weak internet shall i share again with your permission are you able to see now not it okay no worries see this is how situation would be in the okay we would have prepared beautiful plans to succeed in business and suddenly corona will strike pepper fry one second Uh, hello everyone yeah 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 a really uh, bad internet so i, I actually kind of uh, got disconnected uh, but i'm joined from i have joined from another device as so i are you able to hear me now yeah 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 okay so no worry see if see we have, we have i prepared a ppt what i can do is i can share it with gopi sir because i think whenever i share the ppt i'm getting disconnected due to the low bandwidth i think ever since the cyclone right the power has been fluctuating so it's a little tough here so what we will do it doesn't matter why do you want to become an author i can actually type in the chat window what are the options okay so you can just choose one of them so to share an idea the second one is to share knowledge right so i'll put knowledge and the third option is to uh, inform inform the fourth is to persuade hope you are, you can see my options in the chat window are you able to see my options in the chat window okay so you can select one among them or more, more one or more earn money to become famous etc 
so by the way can you let me know uh, from the uh, from the authors whom you know who's the richest author other than robert kiyosaki who's the richest author other than uh, robert kiyosaki any clue i can give you a, a clue also uh, she it's a she it's a no, it's a lady so and she was uh, her uh, book series was made into a movie a series of movies actually harry potter yeah correct ma'am sujatha ma'am right yeah jk rowling yes so basically you know it's not just uh, uh, see what she did is she wrote the book but the first book she wrote right like gopi sir mentioned she tried to approach a traditional publisher and uh, do you know what happened uh, they rejected her manuscript later she went to other publishers in fact 12 publishers rejected her 12 publishers can you imagine the person who is now a best selling author having more than you know 500 million us dollars assets her book her first book was rejected by 12 publishers so that is how you know the world treats uh, authors it's like publisher it's always a publishers world publishers are all about money so gopi sir rightly said suppose you don't know the world right suppose you just go out and say okay i am uh, mr gopi i want to publish a book probably see now he has contacts suppose he were like maybe a 25 year old and he just goes what are the chances of a publisher selecting his gpt publishing is not based on i would say not based on the quality of writing alone there are various other parameters getting into it for example if he is the head of a company right then his chances of being published is much higher than if he is a i would say a junior level employee so lot of biases are there in the publishing world you know what they think if you have a large network or connection then they think this work this book will sell so let's go for it so this kind of bias is there you would see that if you know if someone is a, like priyanka chopra published a book she is a famous actress right uh, do you really think uh, you know she is a better writer than any of you really i don't think so you could all be better you, you may be more educated and you can write better books than her but only thing that we don't have is the number of instagram followers or facebook followers that she has in the world so that means if she writes a book whatever be it suppose she says introduction to chemical engineering by priyanka chopra people would be curious she may not have even a degree in chemical engineering they would be curious what is priyanka chopra writing about chemical engineering and the book will become you know kind of viral or if let's take uh, you know rajinikanth writes a book on mechanical engineering or about ai artificial intelligence with that endiran movie that photo you know let's imagine you know that kind of book getting launched immediately it become a best seller now you may read that and find but there's no subject matter thing in it of course they may even take the help of uh, real experts from the field and write it right so books you know the publishers always go for Uh, is this book viable will this fetch us money that is what is prime most in the mind of a publisher so when the 12 publishers looked at jk rowling they saw a single mother who uh, with no she is not connected to any politician she doesn't have any a uh, major post in the uh, in the world she is not ceo of a company she is not an actor she is not having any connections but you know the story was really good so what happened the real world people took it up right people we are the people who made her successful so in that way one thing is uh, author should not lose heart just like an entrepreneur entrepreneurs also we make the best of the plans but then covid or some other crisis will come see now global economic crisis is looming we should not give up same way authorship is a solitary journey it is a very difficult journey suppose you don't get published we have other methods now and that is what sd gopi sir was referring to which is known as self publishing industry now self publishing industry what you do is you can take your book to the self publishing companies what they will do is if you pay them right they might do the editing 
formatting, etc. Some of them don't do that. Some of them may help with the book cover design and some of them will actually help with marketing. Some of them will not do anything. They will just take, take the book, print it and put it on Amazon or Flipkart. That's it. So it depends. Depends on the package, depends on the type of company, etc. Now, uh, when, when you look at it that way, so they just put your book in the market. So how will the book sell? Do you think the self-publishing companies will make the book sell? Definitely not. If you see Penguin, can you name some other uh, big publisher like Penguin? Some other big publisher, established publishers like Penguin. Uh, you're familiar with Macmillan? How many of you are familiar with Macmillan? Maybe that is easier to ask. Macmillan publishers, yes. HarperCollins. HarperCollins, you have heard of HarperCollins. Okay. Uh, I think some of you said they read Chetan Bhagat, right? Ch Chetan Bhagat books. So Chetan Bhagat's book, first book was published by which, or, uh, which company? I'll give you a clue. It starts with R. Rupa Publishing. It was an unknown company at that point of time. Seriously. It was not Penguin who, which published. Yeah, exactly. We don't look at publishers. But now, yeah, Oxford Press Council. Yeah, that's a good one. Oxford Press Council. Yes, scholastic publishers. You might have heard of scholastic for children and all their publishing. Yes. So there are a lot of uh, publishers who are very much established. But if you look at Chetan Bhagat, his book was not published by any of these leading ones. He first wrote this book, but one thing he had is he kept the book very affordable. The pricing of the book was very important. He kept the book's price as just 99 rupees when he launched it. You know, 99 rupees, just like the Bata pricing model. Now, Bata pricing is actually a, a pricing model. What they do is it's called psychological pricing. Psychological pricing. That means whenever you hear 299, 399, 499, your brain registers only that 4, 499. It's less than 500. The moment I say 505, right? Or 510, you say, oh, above 500. I know it's too costly. But it's 499 is only 6 rupees less. But that's fine, correct? That's how the world uh, thinks. That's how the, it's a research has taken place on that. It's called psychological pricing. So what Chetan did this, psychological pricing and then great marketing. So he actually marketed his books really well. Of course, he wrote what the audience wanted. Write what the audience wanted. So now if you write what the audience wants, your book will be success. Now can you tell me in this current world, what do audience like to read? Uh, audience means I'm saying, let's take uh, age 20 to 35. What are the things that interest them? What are the, some of the things that interest them? Of course, now FIFA is going on. That may be one. What else? What else could be interesting to them? Other than FIFA, yes. What else could be interesting to the audience? Yeah, love, fiction, yeah. Because you know the movie uh, stories, right? Everything is about Kadal, uh, love, yeah. Fic yeah, creativity, yeah, creativity. What else? What else? Can we say sports in general? Sports, movies. Because people are, see, if you ask them, no, I went to some colleges to take sessions. When I asked them uh, about our Sridhar Vimbu, right? Sridhar Vimbu, famous Sridhar. I put his photo and then asked about him. People really did not know. You know, the students really did not know about him. I gave them clues also. You know, he's from Tamil Nadu, all those things. They had no clue. But if you ask, you know, what is the name of Virat's and Anushka's baby? They know. Uh, Nayantara's uh, twins? They know. You're getting? What dress uh, Virat's wife wore uh, for the last match? They know. FIFA, this person, you know, somebody's girlfriend, etc. Uh, uh, everything they know. So they are more interested in, you know, sports, cricket, uh, uh, all this football, then movies, etc. So if your uh, story is involving some someone like that, suppose you're writing a fiction book also, maybe engineering fiction, but in that you have Rajni Khan or maybe Nayantara or maybe Kamal Hassan in that, 
then they are more likely to read it. You're getting it? So when you write what the audience wants, right? Of course, love, uh, creativity, all those things also will come, right? Break up, heartbreak. Excellent, sir. Christopher, sir, put that in one line. Break up, heartbreak. Yes. And then biography. See, biography would be interesting, I would say, to people who are already kind of, uh, uh, kind of successful, but they want to grow more. For example, they already got a job, but they probably want to uh, become, uh, you know, maybe a CEO. Then they may read a biography of CEO, maybe uh, Ratan Tata's biography, how to become an entrepreneur, how to succeed, right? They may read or about Adani or Ambani people may read. But generally what we are seeing is when we do a survey among the youth, right? They are more interested in, yeah, that is true. Stalin sir is asking, is it not due to the projection by media about movies and sports? Now, that's a good question to ask. Uh, even I have thought about it. Why doesn't the media write about all of you, right? All of you have achieved some amount of success in that field, right? Your field. Why don't they feature, you know, uh, an interview with, uh, say, Panir Selvam, sir, or interview with, uh, say, Christopher, sir, interview with Gopi, sir, who, who had worked in this industry? You know, every week they can feature it. I have asked this question to my journalist friends. You know what they said? People want to read only about, they don't even want to read about national awardees, seriously. If you say who all won the national award, as, that's what I was giving the example of Sridhar, sir, right? Sridhar Vembu of Zoho fame, right? Yeah, he won this kind of accolade at national level, right? Even after that, people are not, see, he's from our own state. And, uh, you know, someone from India who worked in India, started a business in India, and then became a success. Isn't that a moment of pride for us? Why are we after Sundar Pichai who worked in US and then he became head of something there? Why do we care about that? Or Rishi Sunak. Media writes about Rishi Sunak who is not even related to India. right? Of course, his wife is related to India. Like wife is a daughter of Narayan Murthy and Sudha Murthy. But otherwise, he or his parents or even his grandparents were not remotely associated with India. So why are we writing about them? People, people are interested in such stuff. So what journalists say is that we write what sells our newspapers or what sells our magazine. You put a photo of Nayantara, the magazine sells. Sridhar Vembu's photo, probably it's not selling. That's a sad state of affairs right now. Now, but one thing is that instead of cribbing about it, can we use that knowledge to our advantage as an author? So that's what I'm thinking of. You know, when you, uh, when you have some idea, right? So now let's look at, you know, what all you can write a book about. So can you tell me what about uh, some topics which you would like to write a book about? Because I can help you develop the same. And I would say all the books, you know, you can write by answering yes. these, uh, these six questions. I'm typing in the chat window here because I'm not able to share my screen. Five W's and one H. So five W's, I can tell you what they are. I think most of you might know. It would be what, when, where, who, right, why, etc. And then H is how, okay? So when you look at it, any subject, if you can describe this, you're done with that particular topic. Say if it is a non-fiction, right? Yeah, Indian best practices as we see in different states. Or maybe let's take engineering best practices in the uh, field of mechanical engineering or chemical engineering, or maybe uh, psychological best practices, which uh, uh, can be used to address the problems faced by Indian people post-COVID scenario, right? Maybe psychologists can write about that. So uh, when we look at that, what, when, where, who, and why, the first and foremost uh, question would be, for whom are you writing? I'm typing in the chat window here, okay? For whom are you writing? Or maybe I can share whiteboard, probably it won't, uh, it won't, yeah, it, I think this is working, right? Yeah. For whom are you writing? This is an important question because unless you know for whom you are writing, you cannot proceed further. For whom are you writing? What is your target audience or what is your target reader base? Who's going to read it? As I said, no, if you're targeting 20 to 35 or maybe targeting 18 to 35 year old what it's a different segment or 18 to 20 18 
to 25, maybe one segment, 25 to 35 could be another segment like that. So you may have to define for whom you're writing. Say, is it uh, only people with uh, maybe basic, people with basic understanding of, say, let's take mechanical engineering, just for an example. Is it something like that? So like that, you'll have to define. You can also define this is for Indians only. Or in the case of, say, certain stories no, are written for maybe South Indians, maybe it is for uh, people from one state alone, maybe just for people of Tamil Nadu, correct? So like that, you'll have to actually define it because when you say Sridhar Vembu, right? Uh, we can write in a way which it is like he's a uh, he's the pride of Tamil Nadu kind of book we can write. We can also rewrite the book in a way he's the pride of our own India because he is like he started his business and he now settled here. He's running the business from India. Headquarters is in India. How many Indian uh, companies can claim that their headquarters is here in India itself? Most of them. They, they go to US and establish the headquarters there, but he actually bravely put the headquarters here itself, right? So when you look at this way, this uh, is like, you know, when for whom are you writing is a very important uh, question. Age group, age group, qualification, and what is their income level? Even that is important. You know why it is important? Whether they can afford your book or not. For example, if you keep the book price as 750 rupees, will it be affordable for that age group? Suppose you're writing for students, 750 may be too high, correct? So you may have to consider that. So when Chetan Bhagat did that, he actually did an analysis. He did an analysis and then kept the price at 99. He realized that 99 rupees means even a student can buy 99. And he his book became a hugely popular thing amongst students as well because it, the story was about being a student, right, at IIT. So income level also is an important parameter of writing a book. So uh, other than this, when you look at uh, writing fiction, right, suppose you're looking at writing fiction, in that case also, you may have important things like settings. You need to have a setting for a story, right, setting, and then you have plot, okay? So this, again, I'll use the whiteboard to explain. So when you write a story, right, story also, if you look at uh, whether it is Ponyan Selvan story or any story for that matter, have uh, two different kinds of plots. Uh, Whitewood, hope you can see that. If you're not able to see, you can type no in the chat window. I'm, I'm not uh, sure whether you can see my screen. Are you able to see my whiteboard? No, okay. Are you able to see it now? Uh, are you able to see it right now? Stalin, uh, uh, sir, or someone, can you answer? No. Okay, okay. Because, uh, 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 you know. Now, now, whiteboard is visible. Yeah, unfortunately, due to the network issue, whenever I'm sharing, I think the Zoom is actually closing. So no worries, I'll put in the chat window. So there are two different types of ways in which you can actually write a story, if you're writing a story, okay? So that is two different types, okay? Two different types I'm typing in the chat window. One is PCR, the other is PCT. Now you may think what is PCR and what is PCT, right? P stands for plot, C stands for conflict. Conflict and R stands for resolution. And T stands for twist, which is our favorite, right? Now, if you see, let's look at Bahuvali itself. Bahuvali is an example of fiction. This is only for those who want to write some fiction, okay? This is not for those who want to write non-fiction. For non-fiction, you can write those questions, you know, what, when, where, who, why, and how. If you define all this, then you can actually write a book. For fiction, people who want to write fiction, it will be like, PCR and T. Now, when you say PCR, if you look at Bahubali 1, how many of you have watched Bahubali 1, by the way? Most of you have seen Bahubali 1 or 2? Uh, Bahubali movie? 
both excellent sir stalin sir says both yes seen both murthy sir yes so now if you see you know after the first movie was released at the end of the first movie was there a resolution see there are some conflict conflict is when uh, there is a villain in the piece right there is a villain in the piece if things are moving uh, smoothly then there won't be story of bahubali itself right he was thrown out of the kingdom right that's when uh, that is a conflict right somebody is working to remove him from that post and then there is an evil brother also right yeah that's when there is a conflict conflict means it's like a villain in the piece now r is resolution resolution means was the uh, was the problem resolved successfully at the end of bahubali 1 was the was the problem resolved successfully by the end of bahubali 1 was it a uh, result or no no it was not result in fact i think everyone those who have not seen bahubali also will know about this famous thing why did kattappa kill bahubali in fact i had in watched bahubali one to be very frank with you i saw that question you know everywhere in whatsapp yeah story was incomplete right there was a suspense also why did this kattappa kill bahubali because of that only i would say many of us actually went and watched this bahubali seriously i didn't watch bahubali one i saw this and then you know everyone were curious right everyone was speaking about okay why did this guy kill there must be something and that made us curious and that's what is called twist so there is a twist in that story at, at the end you know that cut up a killed so that is called a twist now this technique can be used for your books also so of course this is not for non fiction this is only for fiction type of books so if you have some twist at the end of your book and you can say uh, releasing soon book number 2 then people may be curious to know what are you going to write next suppose you are writing about a grandfather story itself so part 1 is uh, you know he does this he gets a job and then he starts a business but at the end you know what happens the british police comes and arrests him okay and they confiscate the entire property all the jewels everything the entire business uh, the property everything is uh, smashed also they they destroy all the buildings everything okay now british people jail that uh, jail that grandfather now what happens next you can stop your story there and then move on okay so these are some techniques by which you can develop fiction for non fiction it's all about answering the curious answering the questions in the curious minds of people if you say what is mechanical engineer or for that matter if you say uh, if you are writing a book on fifa right uh, what is fifa we can start with questions like what is fifa okay the history of fifa so usually you know we can look at one technique which is called the past present and future this is a simple technique right past present and future isn't it past present and future so any particular field you are writing you can say the past chemical engineering in the past what is the present and what is the future so any topic you can actually use this method past present and future the next would be answering all the questions like what when where like where was the first chemical uh, in uh, chemical uh, factory set up in india like that okay or where was the first uh, refinery set up in india questions like that if you are writing about chemical engineering or maybe if it's about nuclear engineering you can say where was the first nuclear power plant set up who set that up so answering questions like what when where who why okay if you answer these question and then you answer the question on h so these six questions if you can answer any non fiction book should be easy for you okay so the next we are going to look at is for whom are you writing this we already looked at but we didn't look at you know parts like nationality and all suppose you are going to write about say someone from india which is of interest only to indians will that book sell beyond india right then you have to define your target reader basis this is only for indians this book is only for indian this book will sell only in india the reason being this is a story which is written uh, for consumption in india because we have written all local culture all those things we have not explained that for example we we'll say 
Deepavali came and then this thing happened, that happened, etc. We are not describing. When you say Tale Diwali, right? That term may not be familiar to some, maybe uh, someone from US or UK, etc. So if you are writing for an international audience, right? You may have to consider explaining such cultural If you have something which is writing for international consumption, make sure that whatever, even if you're using Indian story, ensure that it is explained clearly. Diwali, Deepavali is a festival of lights. And Tale Diwali is the celebration when the first year after marriage, right? The bride and the groom, right? After the marriage, uh, their first Deepavali is called Tale Diwali. It's considered very special. And you know this. So you'll have to explain it to an international audience. Suppose you want your book to be read by the international audience. So it's up to you. You can say, no problem. My book will be read only by Indians. That's okay. That's what you define, right? So what if you define your audience or your reader base correctly, then you can do specific marketing in order to make the book viral among that target base, okay? The next one will be where and when to publish it and how to market it. Where and when to publish it. So when to publish it is a big question. When to publish it will depend on you finishing the writing, correct? Now, when you look at it, let me try sharing the screen once again. If it works, good. If not, I'll explain it without the slides also. So let me see. Yeah. Are you able to see? <laughs> this is exactly like, you know, today I feel this session on entrepreneurship is going exactly like the life and uh, life of an entrepreneur and an author. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Oh, thank God. See? Things go up if you uh, if you keep persevering, right? Maybe it starts working. Yes. Okay. So thanks to the uh, internet here. Okay. Planning and writing is only one among the steps of writing a book or publishing a book. Now, if you see, you know, if you see this particular thing won't be there in Google. This is something I have researched uh, over 15 to 16 years. I've been interviewing many authors. I was working in a company called Infosys. Yes, the same company where Rishi Sunak's wife's, uh, you know, wife's father founded. Same company, Infosys. Now we have to introduce Infosys like that. Rishi Sunak's father-in-law uh, was the founder, that kind of company. So planning and writing, okay, is only the first step. Other than planning and writing, there are many other steps involved in writing of a book. So pre-publishing and publishing. Then you have pre-launch activities, including marketing. Next is launch event. And then it's like post-launch event, marketing, handling reviews, etc. Now, it might look like a surprise. See, when you say, uh, when you look at people, right, they would think that uh, when you're uh, having a baby, speaking of a baby, they'll think, um, how long does it uh, require for parents to take care of the baby? Is it only during the pregnancy stage? Nine months. <laughs> I think anyone who is a parent will know that that's not true. Correct? <laughs> How many of you agree to that? Parenting is like, you know, it doesn't end with the birth of the baby. Correct? How many of you agree to that statement? If you agree, you can type yes. Does parenting end like how they show in movie? Baby is born and then after a song, the baby becomes 20 year old. It's not like that, right? It's not easy. Same way, when you say about book, right? Writing and planning is only one-fifth of the whole process. One-fifth of the entire process. The major difference, you know, what whether your book will be successful or not will be based on that three, four, and five. You can see three, four, and five. Green, red, and violet. These are the three boxes actually that will determine whether your book will be a success or not. In short, I can use just one letter for that or one word for that. That word starts with the letter M. Can you guess the word? You know the word. Marketing. It's, yeah, marketing. All these three, you know, launch event, pre-launch activities, marketing, all that. You can also call it like marketing and sales because post-sales support is also important, right? Suppose you buy a book, after buying the book, you find that 
some uh, some pages of the book were not uh, actually printed correctly if a customer complains you should be able to swiftly replace you should have a good publisher who would immediately send a replacement free of cost so do you have that kind of publisher that will be a good question correct so when you say planning writing that is pretty much evident right you can plan what can i write what am my expert at i am expert at maybe mechanical engineering let me write a book on that or maybe i am expert at my own life lessons from my life or maybe i can write about industry experience you have worked in that industry for say 20 years you can definitely write about industry best, best practices or maybe you say i lived in india i can write about the best practices of various states i think one of you actually told that right or like i think ramesh told at the beginning it's about the idea creation etc right as an entrepreneur right even questioning the status quo so even about that you can write a book questioning the status quo now once you fix what is to be written you have to devise a marketing plan if you are going for the self publishing option or if you are going for a well known publisher because even well known publisher suppose you get penguin to publish you okay even then suppose your book will not sell they say your book was not written properly only they will it's it's not their baby your book is your baby i think that is a concept i wanted to convey to you. it's like your book is like your baby you can take your baby to the doctor but your baby you want your baby to get well soon not the doctor it's your it is in your interest to do marketing whether you are going with a traditional publisher like penguin or with a self publishing company or even if you are getting the book locally printed and then you get the isbn number now what do you mean by isbn number can anyone type in the chat window what is isbn full form of isbn every book should have an isbn so what is this isbn now for amazon there is a direct publishing option also so when you do direct publishing right amazon may take care amazon books may not need that but generally uh, all other publishers they take care of that isbn so um, amazon again in india issue is they are taking care of only ebook they are not getting into direct publishing of printed books so for that we still have to rely on the self publishing companies or local publishers or traditional publishers so here uh, i have a question to you when you say you are going to write a book right who will write the foreword for you can you tell me who do you have in mind to write the foreword by you do you know what is a foreword by the way what is a foreword foreword i typed in the chat window f o r e w r d foreword it's kind of a recommendation yeah it's like you know uh, i recommend uh, ramesh's book i read about it and he's questioning the status quo i know ramesh for almost 30 years and he has brilliant ideas on this system etc etc appreciation it like, uh, yeah it is like you know they are uh, they are telling you why we, we should read this book something like that a kind of uh, introduction yeah. and uh, yeah. let's say appreciation and also recommendation yeah. by somebody yeah who is uh, even well versed with that uh, topic yeah either well versed or maybe he is a celebrity for yeah. example stalin sir for your book if you have the real stalin sir write a forward you know stalin <laughs> our cm writes a forward of course the book will be selling okay sir so i wish i wish i am <laughs> able to write a forward for his book <laughs> okay that was edifying the edifying yeah. the other and edifying the content awesome sir edifying the author and edifying the content why you should uh, write this so for our book no actually i wrote a book about dr rajamal she is a teacher a retired teacher and a social worker she is not nayantara or suhasini mandatna but what we did is we got a forward by suhasini mandatna so we put an uh, during the book launch right what we did is we did the cover launch on feb 15 i'm just sharing the plan we launch the book cover on particular day so why do we think we did the book cover launch separately again it's part of a marketing thing so first we do book cover launch and then only by august 15 on the day he had she had received national award from 
president of india the actual book launch happened on amazon so between these two events right we created lot of videos posters etc and then we put even release what does suhasini maniratnam tell about dr rajamarth now when you say suhasini maniratnam i wish i could speak to rajni khan and get one forward for that book we couldn't do that because he really doesn't know us suhasini maniratnam actually had worked with dr rajamarth uh, for some social work plus suhasini maniratnam had given an award to dr rajamarth as part of raj tv south indian women inspiration award so that's why it was easy to get from her but not from any other person not from stalin or not from the <laughs> modi or anyone like that but the more the famous the person the easier the book uh, uh, would be you know uh, to sell are you getting if you get a really famous person to endorse you the book may sell even more got it so this is an easy tip for everyone forward so get a forward from someone really famous someone the people recognizes the name should be like you know this or other option like you said no and now a nobel prize winning scientist uh, maybe from the field of uh, say maybe you are writing a book on pharmacy pharmaceuticals then a nobel prize winning scientist endorses your book this is a must read book on pharmaceutical industry then people may look up or other option is say biocon is the right pharma pharmaceutical company kiran mazumdar show so now she writes a forward for you or if it is it company then you can find some it maybe uh, asim prem ji writes a forward for you wipros asim prem ji right so find someone famous who can vouch for you if you don't know that kind of famous persons right you can also get give a copy to them ask them to read some of them do that some of them will do that if you give a copy of your book sir do you think you can write a forward for it actually some of them may do so consider trying that the second thing which you can easily do is to create a mega launch event create a mega launch event so when you say mega launch event who all can you invite for your book launch who all can you invite for your book launch invite for your book launch so before that you can also invite people for a book cover launch are you getting split the event into two book cover launch separately book launch separately did you get that book cover alone separately you can launch you get someone famous to do that then book cover launch adukapram you give some gap 2 to 3 months at least for the marketing okay where you know famous people or relatively famous it can be even a principal of a college principal of a college will also have at least 1000 2000 connections right or maybe past students like that or maybe if you know alumni network maybe the president of that alumni network to you know uh, give a video about you video if they are not ready to give a video you can ask them to write few things about you for example dr govind raju right is like this like this some two three lines and then with their photo and say principal of this institution says this about dr govind raju are you getting or about ramesh sir okay ramesh is like this or about uh, ratna sabapati ratna sabapati is this way or utra now utra is a very brilliant young lady or something like that <laughs> i don't know whether you are young lady because i can't see you on video i'm just telling something yeah or she is a brilliant uh, scientist with this much years of experience so if you can have someone write about you someone come on video about you use that for your advertising if you can hire someone like rajni khan nayantara excellent if you can't right if you can't hire amita bachan then use all the people in your network all the people in your network your school principal your college principal maybe your uh, previous boss etc or head of alumni institution uh, etc all the network that you have in that you see who you can utilize for this purpose because if you can launch it in the proper way itself right amount of interest will be generated in the mind of audience then people will be like hey why did this famous person write about stalin see if he says cm stalin writes about stalin saunders book right that itself will cause hey what is in this book for cm wrote a forward for it let's have a look you're getting 
curiosity generated means it will sell you got it so this is in short of course this is a uh, you know this is a course that i conduct for seven and a half hours okay so i'm trying to distill i told gopi sir i'll try to distill the main things into uh, just this one hour okay so i think i'm almost done but i think you got the point only those who market their books well are going to become best sellers so how did i become a best seller is it because uh, i did marketing or i wrote yeah i did write i spent time on planning and writing but as you already saw the uh, five stages right this five stages are not in google this is something i figured out okay so i realized that planning and writing is only one part of it remaining part if you do really well then you can make any book a success it is not the best written book that becomes a best seller it is not the best written book that becomes the best seller but the book that is marketed best that becomes the best seller got it <laughs> it's a simple technique yeah now i would like to go to the last slide uh, let me share the screen i hope it works if it doesn't work no problem are you able to see this <laughs> yeah and authorship is also equally you know you might see as in sometimes you are not actually when i wrote the book also it is a it's a very solitary journey of challenges you don't know the reader right you really don't know the reader correct you are just imagining this is what the reader may like you are imagining the reader and then writing the book correct so there could be challenges so my suggestion would be give your book chapters of your books to your friends maybe to some junior colleagues some to senior colleagues uh, or maybe to your students i mean if you are teaching and all give to students or if you know students give to them also get feedback from many people so while you write it say you can get some feedback and then keep refining best is not to share the entire book because you know the book can get leaked the copy can be get uh, can be leaked so you can give outline of the chapters and then give one or two sample chapters for them to read are you able to see my screen by any chance are you not it not it but oh but earlier we saw for a moment but it again for a moment i know <laughs> do you know i think your bandwidth is low manju so hi everyone yeah yeah i think today no we are seeing all the challenges that an entrepreneur can face you saw in the last one hour how many times i had to connect and dis, uh, rejoin right so in this particular case i'll just go ahead with uh, one simple thing uh, the first person whom i coached to write a book i first i wrote a book it became a best seller after that few people came and asked me can you help me write a book so now uh, i actually took uh, prepared a course for them that's a seven hour course which is spread over two days and the uh, the first person to actually write a book was a 45 year old ceo from canada he is an indian indian origin person so you know what he did i told him that uh, create a book with uh, in such a way that whatever be your topic right his uh, topic was about a little bit i would say difficult topic he wrote about uh, it's like the power of self debate in business decisions okay it's a very i would say very tough topic right the power of self debate i'm typing in the chat window so that it's easier for you to get it power of self debate in business decisions now it's very difficult to even understand you know what is this particular topic it's a totally different idea now he has used eastern philosophy with some business related stuff from management realm and he has married these two ideas and his book was published in us actually after that uh, that book was like 25 dollars or something like that so he said he he wants to publish in india so for that i gave him some because before itself you know if you give right give away your rights to the publisher then you can't publish it elsewhere 
so before itself we had uh, advised him not to give away the publishing rights as in he holds the rights to publish anywhere in the world so that is how the agreement was signed with the us publisher now in india when he launched the book right uh, of course he can't keep the book price as 25 dollars who in india would buy such a book at 25 dollars mm. will you or me buy definitely not so we need to consider the indian market also plus uh, i told him that in order to create a splash right you need to have a wonderful launch event so you know what finally came out of this discussion with him he uh, created a launch event real life launch event with 101 ceos can you imagine 101 ceos came for his book launch each of them holding a copy of his book now that created the right set of wave you know people were really curious oh 101 ceos came for the launch so in a similar way you can think of it who can you call for the launch event if you don't know one important person suppose you know one famous person right like narayan murthy or maybe asim prem ji or even ratan tata if ratan tata is coming for event excellent or rajnikanth is coming for event excellent if you can't get one strong person or one famous person you can also substitute with 20 uh, other people from your network i think i given you enough ideas correct 20 strong people from your network each of each of whom would have at least 1000 or 2000 or maybe 5000 followers each select such people who already have a good follower base so if they come definitely their followers also would be interested why are they going for this person's book launch correct curiosity will be generated in the minds of people like we told about cm stalin launching stalin sir's book right it was just an example same way when you have 20 people coming for the book launch definitely curiosity would be generated actually that is a technique i use i did not know cm stalin or pm modi or president barack obama anyone what i did is i went and called all those famous people whom i knew at that time including one uh, best selling author from us she is an us citizen not indian uh, then i got some singapore uh, person a speaker world famous speaker sri lankan youngest phd holder then bahrain also one world famous speaker so whomever i knew i invited around 20 25 people including a founder of indian development foundation and ngo from india and also from uh, army background also I invited some people so you can also consider someone like that you may know someone from defense background you may know someone from the teaching industry you may know some famous scientist you may know some famous lawyer you can put together a list of people whom you know and then consider inviting them so now the question is when to plan this it is not after you write the book right now you need to invite all of them as in you need to establish connection with them and even ask them sir do you think you can write a forward for my book the book is in uh, in the writing process we are in the writing process of the book can you consider writing a forward the reason is these famous people also take time if you just finish your book and then rush with rush with that copy these people are not going to write the forward in just uh, you know one or two days or one or two weeks they may need time and especially for the launch event plan well in advance i think with this particular parting note that m is the most important world in the life of an authorship as well as in the life of an entre- entrepreneur m because 70% of your success as an entrepreneur lies in marketing correct we all know that same way for an author also it's not what you write why you write how you write that is most important but how you market your book is the most important parameter so m for marketing and s for success so i wish you all success thank you manju yes there are, there are two kinds of speeches the flat and the fabulous and yours was the latter thank you very much for being with us today and we'll now keep the floor open for the question the question answers yeah and Participants... i really apologize i really yeah, apologize okay, for the network glitch because uh, with cyclone right the wifi <laughs> went for a toss yeah. no problem yeah, yeah. participants manju, if you please unmute and ask your questions please manju thanks a lot for a, a nice speech systematically taking us through various steps involved and uh, 
it was really wonderful just a question totally from a different perspective sure sir hey, whatever you said it is for um, uh, let's say commercially launching yes. a book yes yes suppose i want to write something i don't want to make any money or anything like that yeah just i want to launch the book yeah it may be even a printed one or it can be just uh, uh, let's say soft copy just on the internet okay so like you you just want to you don't want to uh, kind of commercially launch it but yes. just uh, you would like to probably um, put it out on amazon or something like that right uh that, that's where my doubt is see let's okay. say that i want to share my experiences okay. but i am not very sure who will buy and okay. uh, neither uh, i care about that the okay. issue is just i want to share my experiences so should i print it and start distributing as a complimentary copy or just put it on the net whoever wants to read they can read sir uh, what i would say is you know you you can't really know who would be interested who would be interested unless you actually try doing a survey research first of all research on you know would you be interested do a research on that topic how many would be interested you can even suppose it's a technical topic you can even discuss with colleagues professors uh, the principal or maybe students of that particular stream you know would you be interested in this kind of book first understand what the audience wants and then if you write definitely your book would be bought by people now the second question is it is it is not about money sir i would say that uh, any author worth his or her salt i think the greatest joy will come when more than 100 500 people read our book isn't that the biggest joy i feel beyond money you know i felt that when people read and write to us about the book this book helped or this is the area where you how to explain more you know that really helped i would say more than the money that is the biggest joy uh, because it's like um, you know providing a service to the world isn't it you're sharing your immense experience with them only thing is if you can package your experience maybe in smaller bites like instead of putting you know 500 page book on your experience nowadays uh, all people want to read shorter sweeter ones right or maybe even if you consider putting it as an audio book they may even read it uh, they they may listen to it more i heard that kalki's book also instead of the book version audio version is more popular with the youth these days that is the trend so when we look at the trend so how can you reach them right and then provide some value to them it's not about money like you rightly said so i would say go uh, because if this is like it's about how hard you are ready to work you want easy thing i would say just get it published from some local publisher and or you can i can even give you some uh, self publishing companies you know they may go through it again they may have their own standards okay because they also don't want to incur loss correct they also want some profits so they may look at the viability of the concept before uh, doing it in fact our uh, publishing company authors trees uh, they are from north india they told us that this biography will not sell man uh, because it's national awardy we are just doing you a favor i said just wait and watch because we did marketing for five whole months and then you know it broke all records uh, day one itself it was a best seller and then after 6 months also it was number 1 in its category and they said that we have never seen biographies sell like this because even if you don't want to know about dr rajamal we will bombard you with videos suhasini mandatnam or other people speaking recently what we did we had uh, vikram veda one uh, movie was there right yes. we had the director of the movie gayatri pushkar right. uh, hold a hold a copy of the book hand it over to uh, sj surya again a famous person now when two famous people are holding our book people are again curious they are like what is there in that book these people are all reading how do you know these people you know a lot of curiosity gets generated so that was again part of marketing thing we knew her we just asked her do you think you can give this copy to someone that's all i even sent a copy to the doctor 
who used to treat uh, president uh, uh, our uh, current president murmu okay i asked that doctor doctor i'm giving you a gift can you give it to our president so she said she will try because there are a lot of protocols you're getting right so now stalin also if any of you know cm i will send a copy with it one of you you're getting or if all of you hold a copy of my book and then come on facebook put a photo and another thing i forgot to tell us no once somebody writes a review no please be thankful to them it's called post sales support also right uh, after uh, customer buys it don't ignore them if goind raju sir were to write a review for me i will put a poster on him thank you goind raju sir for that brilliant review even even if it is criticism still praise them you get it because if you praise a reviewer more and more reviewers will start reviewing your book on amazon so that is also one option you have a brilliant network here sir so now if you ask no you are launching a book instead of giving it for free anything given for free in my opinion people don't value it even mothers love us like that isn't it sir when mother gives okay we don't realize after 30 40 years we realize how much how selfless she was in helping us right everything should be you know we should remind them this is not free like this <laughs> especially with current current world that's how it is sir. so i would say please don't give your book for free sir if you are giving for free maybe to the president of india uh, the cm the pm maybe president uh, former president barack obama you can give one free copy not to any of us sir. you can do one thing if you want to give it at an affordable price Uh, that is something you can definitely do sir kindle you know you can make it because students read a lot in digital mode so you, what you can do even that uh, person right i told the ceo his book is in indian market 1000 rupees sir i said sir how will children uh, students buy it if any management student wants to buy right 1000 is too much right ceos can buy but uh, do you want management students to read he said yes then i said sir in kindle unlimited can you give because kindle unlimited no if the student has kindle unlimited then they will get it as part of the package and of course in kindle also there is another option you can put it on kindle let's say 200 rupees or 199 199 which is still affordable but 1000 rupees if you put your book no seriously it's difficult so that's why we have to segment the uh, we have to identify our segment is this book going to be read by students is this book going to be read by middle class indians with average income of say uh, less than uh, 15 lakh per annum because middle class indians with up to 15 lakh per annum may buy a patta podave for 20000 rupees diamond necklace maybe for 1 lakh or 2 lakh but book they will buy only for less than 500 so experience correct people won't buy <laughs> how much ever famous you are less than 500 only it will sell in india but if you are looking at coffee table type book or you know hard cover right people who are book lovers they may collect your it's like a collectors edition or rich people may buy your book it is 850 rupees just for bragging they say i have stalin sondar pandian's book for which forward was written by prime minister modi they may do that but if you see average middle class indian less than 500 book will sell okay yes sir. Uh, madam Excellent. madam i am govind raju from kaimutur yes sir i am aluminium i am in the field for the last 47 years i am electrical engineer awesome sir <laughs> i did I electronics engineering <laughs> so i i seven and a half years before i have invented a new product called auto face selector okay okay now only i have started doing marketing because my okay. concept is it should be fit and forget okay <laughs> Okay. So, do you think for marketing this product, a yes. celebrity is needed to market this product to introduce sir, into the market? Sir, it depends, sir. You can see if you know a celebrity well and good. If not, you can have many people. See, in this group itself, you have many people with large network, right? See, Gopi sir may know probably ten thousand plus people. Ah, uh, Shanmugam sir may know another ten thousand, right? So you can use even uh, these people in this network itself, sir. Okay. But if you get a celebrity, because celebrity one issue was we tried to invite some celebrities for book launch. Some of them ask money, sir, which we can't afford. If you say ten lakh for a book launch, sorry, I can't really afford that. Even one lakh I can't give for a book launch. Correct? Celebrities ask 
Yeah, they are asking for a high amount of money. Yeah. Only one celebrity didn't ask for money. That was Anju Bobby Jor. She's a, this a long jump winner. Athlete. But, Athlete. Yeah. but un unfortunately, that day she had some interview or something. So her secretary said uh, they have some TV interview on August 15th. I think Olympics was going on. So she was on Sony TV and all that. So her secretary said, sorry, madam, she's busy. They didn't ask for money, but... So very few don't ask for money, sir. Most people, when we call, and we when we call the press club, Chennai press club, we call to uh, cover a book. They said, uh, who's coming? Is uh, someone famous like Rajnikanth, Nayantara, or any other film celebrity coming? Then we can cover. Otherwise, not much value. That's what they're telling. So one option is we can build contacts with the journalists sir, before we write the book. Before we write itself, because after writing the book only, we started looking for journalists. Now I realize my mistake. So my mistake shouldn't be your mistake. No? So whatever uh, pothole I fell into, I want you to avoid that. I would say before you even write the book, befriend some journalists. Sir. So that if, if they already have a good opinion about you, they are more likely to cover your book. Finally, we got three journalists to cover, sir, but in smaller, uh, not in the main newspaper, but Trinity Mirror and some other Tamil uh, this and all. Then Aval Vikatan also covered our book. Aval Vikatan. And, but not like, you know, the, if you say the Hindu and all. We tried, but it didn't happen. But some of them said, PR agency said, you give us some 20,000, 25,000, your article will come in the Hindu. We didn't want to spend money on that. So. <laughs> this book was a not-for-profit book also. This book... All the uh, profit that we received also we sent to the NGOs where that Dr. Rajamal is uh, serving. She is uh, staying at an NGO uh, called Sarvalayam. Uh, 24 by 7, she is doing selfless without any salary, she is serving them. So whatever money we got, we donated it to all these NGOs only. <laughs> so we didn't want to spend 25,000 uh, for uh, putting in some magazine. But sir, I can... I can help my clients. Like Suppose uh, when they come for my course, right? I help them. If you want, I can put you in touch with PR companies. Now I'm coaching authors, right? I have already coached more than 12 batches of authors. One of my uh, coaches, uh, one of my students' father owns a big marketing company. So she said, anytime you want marketing, uh, it seems they do it for silk showrooms and all that on TV even. Suppose you want a TV, uh, this on, on your book also, we can arrange now, sir. But of course, you'll have to pay them directly. You can discuss. Thank you for the information. Yes, My suggestion would be, please don't give your books for free, anyone, because all of you have immense knowledge. I would say, uh, the moment you give for free, you know, people don't value it. At least keep some amount, like Chetan Bhagat did, no? at least say that I'm giving you at a discount rate of 99 or 199, like that at least. And also number of pages, if it's non-fiction, I would say not more than 250 pages. You can give it like, you know, Bahubali 1, Bahubali 2, part 1, part 2 also, that's okay. But don't give 500, 700 pages if it's non-fiction. I think Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a great book. No, It's thin. It's thin. You have seen the Rich Dad Poor Dad book, no, sir? It's short and simple. It's not so thick as well, right? And I think that is also one of its uh, one of the secrets behind its huge success. Yes, sir. Gopira, any, go on, yes, sir. Any other questions? You can also reach out to me uh, at my email ID that is coachmanju at gmail.com. I also run a course. I also offer one-to-one -one support to authors. Like we do end-to-end -end, from book cover design till marketing like suggestions for how to market also we provide we'll give you tie-ups we can uh, as in we don't do direct marketing but we give you ideas and we also put in touch with various companies so that you can make your book a success so my email id i put in the chat window. <laughs> yeah. anybody else has a question Uh, I just have one question. Business uh, Rajamal is the one who was the principal mm -hmm. of uh, the Home Science College. Or this uh, no, not uh, that is a different Rajamal, Dr. Rajamal. Yeah. This Dr. Rajamal, she worked in Kendri Vyalaya. She okay. got a President's Award in the year 2009. 
ായ <laughs> if you want the inspiration in life and also as a template for your book no because my book will have things like see what do you need to write first should you write chapter 1 first most authors fail because uh, they start with chapter 1 so from my research of 15 years uh, i realized that most people get stuck in their chapter 1 you know chapter 1 takes forever you would see in movies also they'll write and tear the paper throw it away again right because chapter 1 should be really impressive if the chapter 1 is not impressive they will not read the book at all correct chapter 1 2 and 10 should last chapter should be interesting remaining whatever we people will still manage you got it so i would say please never write chapter 1 first you write the outline of all chapters like chapter 1 would be this chapter 2 this yeah. heading alone yeah and after heading what you can do is write uh, some things like you know i'll type in the chat window dedication acknowledgments these things you can write first these are easy to write also dedication acknowledgments then note to the reader you may have some note to the reader right introduction introduction to the topic also you can write but not chapter 1 you can write chapter 3 4 5 etc and at the end if you write chapter 1 and last chapter no that would be better that will help you go fast also so and uh, which of your book my books actually the lady with the magic lamp is the book in english the tamil version of the book is called uh, um mang mangai enum mandira deepam mangai enum mandira deepam so this book unfortunately is not there in uh, uh, amazon for a reason uh, because amazon also takes uh, money from us the publisher takes money so these are all hidden things okay publish if you say penguin right uh, authors are not becoming rich the publishers are becoming rich sudha murthy or all these people you know they'll be getting only 3 to 4% maybe 10% if they are really really famous they may give 20% of the profits only all other money goes to the publisher and to amazon so amazon also takes a cut amazon's royalty charges are like 30% 3 0 to 70% there are two plans so it depends on that so if you look at my book it was priced at 239 238 239 rupees out of which probably uh, the publisher and the amazon they will take close to 200 then we are left with 30 or 38 rupees but it was intentionally done because we wanted it to be affordable to students if we increase it to 350 it will become unaffordable to students so we thought we can keep it our margin can be less but let it be more affordable because the book was like that it was about a person who escaped a child marriage came from a poor family then uh, she was a single mother she was abandoned by her husband when she had a 3 month old baby despite all that she became a national award winner that to not one she got four national awards in social service also she got national uh, award so such a person's life when we right we didn't want to price it at 350 or 450 we wanted it to be affordable to the people who are really uh, affected so i am typing in the chat chat window and uh, my next book is about conflict management it is a leadership series and planning uh, it's called uh, step by step it will be launched in uh, the month of uh, in the, in the month of january i might also request one of you to write a forward for that probably if you are okay with that <laughs> i might reach out to one of you if you are okay to write i got one person i have asked for a forward uh, and one more person i uh, two or three people i may ask for forward so one of you maybe from this group also <laughs> if things go well yeah uh, ma'am i just had one question Uh, this is with respect to uh, you were talking about book cover launch and book launch yeah. yes so sir. just uh, tell us uh, what uh, how different both are and why is it important 
Yes, sir. So it's all about that creating the interest in the minds of people. If you see the movies also, no, they will say uh, that uh, music release. You would have seen that thing, right? Music or uh, music release for this movie, right? A.R. Rahman's music for Pony and Selvan. They will launch that separately. They will have a puja function separate. Why do they do that? Why do they put advertisements for all that? Create curiosity, curiosity, create curiosity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So book cover launch is also part of that. When you say book cover launch itself, suppose you can bring someone famous. Suppose the uh, university uh, vice chancellor is coming for the book cover launch. Definitely that student uh, community, the staff, the alumni, they all would be interested. No? How you manage to get a university vice chancellor for the book cover launch, not even for the book launch. And build up will be there. Oh, for the book cover launch itself, this person has come. Or say, you say book cover launch by CM Stalin. I'm just taking CM's name. Now they will think, okay, for the actual book launch, who would come? Maybe PM, maybe, you know, that kind of build up. So it's all about, uh, I would say, no, it's about creating that interest in the mind of the reader. If you are of interest only, uh, you know, anything will sell. It's same for entrepreneurship also. No? The, and one more thing which I didn't tell is, the moment you are an entrepreneur, right? You become an author, automatically the business is increasing. Why? If, it's like this. If you have a doctor who has written a book, three books on that subject, more people go to that doctor. Because people think that this doctor knows more. He has written three books for, let's go to him. That kind of bias is there in people's mind. So now our point is, let's use that bias to our advantage. What's wrong in that? Right? You write a book, you are also having great ideas. See, Govind Raju sir, for example, auto face uh, thing, right? For auto face switcher. Now he has that idea. Uh, he had that idea for last seven years. He had already learned it. Now he writes a book on that, makes it viral, right? And then... Uh, his business also will automatically pick. It's just that. See, he's the man, you know, pick. And one more thing is, here in my book, if you see behind me, I have put uh, Dr. Rajamal's photo. But if you see Robert Kiyosiki's book, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, whose photo is there on the cover? His photo, right? So if you are writing about a topic, especially nonfiction, you can put your, your photo on the cover. So that means the next time your clients see you, they'll be like, and in your office also, suppose there are three books written by you with your photo, you know, sitting on the shelf behind. The client who comes for negotiation also will be impressed. So uh, this entrepreneurship and authorship, I would say is like very, uh, it's a fine uh, relationship. It's more about the perspective, right? It's all about the credibility, boost the credibility of the person. In short, in short, I can say, once you are an author on the subject, people will really uh, look up to you. And again, if Govindraju sir has a patent, I suppose, sir, you have already filed a patent, sir. Sir, a patent they are not giving because it is an assembled oh. product like that they are telling. One year I have tried for it. But what oh. they are telling you, it is a technical um, um, in a subject. Okay, okay. I am using red color wire means if other gentleman is using a, some other color, the pattern okay. is totally invalid like that they are telling. Oh, yeah, okay. small change will lead to I mean uh, pattern invalidity. Yes, sir. So, so in, that case, uh, in that case, I would suggest you to take a copyright of your book. So on your book, no, you no, can no. write copyright. So you want to write me a book on that? Yeah, you can write a book and then you can file a copyright uh, on that book as well as you can uh, try for uh, registering the trademark or whatever. If you have a trademark some name, unique name, auto face, you have some name, right? So this Say, is first of, first of it kind in India and Indian. I have done so far 375 panels so far supplied. I got, a, I mean, more than 100 uh, testimonials for that. Okay. So we also help authors with, uh, we have a, a lawyer who used to work with Chennai High Court and all. He is specialized in this matter. So I can put you in touch with him. Okay. You can have a word with him and then see what all... He's in charge of IPR, copyrights. He filed our copyright. Actually, our book, we have a copyright on that, actually. Mm -hmm. So, but he also file, uh, helps the entrepreneurs with these kind of business ideas. Okay. So, I can put you in touch with him, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sure. 
So I would say if suppose it's difficult for you to write a book uh, because of lack of time or other things, you can even pair up with someone and write, even in this alumni association. Yes, so definitely. I, so I got a lot of experience on this particular area. Definitely, okay. I think I can able to make it, use of it. Definitely, yeah. Okay. So best Thank is to write on idea. your own, write on your own, because tomorrow, if your book becomes a huge success, no, if there are two or three people involved, the, that it will become like this uh, Mukesh Ambani and Anil Ambani. And the, <laughs> you, you understand, right? There should not yeah. be a dispute later. On. So best yeah. is if you're having more than one author, have a contract between the authors legally signed that after the uh, book launch, right? Or uh, after this, you know, how the profits should be shared, what will be the future partnership, all these things need to be thought out before you write with someone else. Okay. Thank you for your advice. Thank Thank you. You. Thank you. Actually, I had to do it because while writing this book during COVID crisis, to be very frank, I wrote this book when my business got hit during COVID crisis. Mm -hmm. But during my college days, I had got first prize in short story writing in 168 colleges while studying engineering. Uh, so this was uh, an event where PhD in English, all those students had come. So I knew that I could write, but I didn't have time to write. I was busy with MNC, then being a mother, etc. And then uh, when COVID hit, no, uh, the entrepreneurship part got seriously you know i think it was a big challenge for most entrepreneurs and being a first time entrepreneur it was challenging so instead of sitting and crying over it i thought let me use this time to write a book so i did that and i wanted to help the world that's why i wrote a book about some inspiring personality while writing it i got a neck issue this is spondylitis so because it was covid we were afraid to go to the doctor so i needed someone to help me finish the typing and all so I called Dr. Rajamal and Dr. Rajamal suggested her mentee when Dr. Ashwati was there. So she joined. She's not from English literature, no. she's from biology field. So I called her because she knew about Dr. Rajamal. So I want someone who will help me with the interviews. Biography is one journal. I would say, please don't take it as your first book ever. I learned from my mistake. My friends who studied literature said, who would uh, select a biography as the first book? Because biography, you have to interview a lot of people. It's a really, I would say, painstaking work. So I would say, if you're writing, never write biography as your first book. Learning from experience, I'm telling you. Please write something else. Biography, you can write, but as your second or third book. Unless it's autobiography. It's all about you, then no problem. But even then, there could be issue. Because if you're writing about you, but if you're writing about a conflict with someone, right, they can file a case against you. So we had to hire a lawyer consult him whether there'll be a defamation suit or all those aspects also we had to discuss like we were writing about uh, she being abandoned by her husband right so those issues were a bit tricky so finally we changed the name of the husband and then wrote the book uh, because we didn't want to hurt anyone and she also didn't want to dr rajamal didn't want to hurt anyone so only positive things we want to share yes Positive things. Yeah, she wanted to share only positive things. Unfortunately, her story itself is since she's a single mother, we have to tell, you know, she she got uh, her husband abandoned, she, divo she got divorced. We had to cover that. And that is also something which adds uh, value to others, you know. Someone who may be struggling, uh, maybe a per single person struggling with the child, they will get inspired from that story. So we had to cover Thank you, madam. Thank, Thank you. you. Anybody else has a question? One last question. You can also get in touch with me on uh, LinkedIn as well. I'm on LinkedIn. I am also in LinkedIn, madam. Okay, okay. So yes, I'll um, share with you. Then I'll share my LinkedIn ID here so that uh, okay. I think. My LinkedIn display name will be author Manju K. Manohar. Author? Author Manju K. Manohar. So I'll just send the link to you now. Okay. For all of you so that you can be. I'm typing in the chat window. And thank you so much for bearing with this uh, interruption of tech.
technical interruption due to the Wi-Fi issue. <laughs> Nein, no problem. Silent, sir. Silent, sir. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. Yeah. Ah, sir, if, uh, incidentally, Manju's husband works in uh, works as a scientist in nuclear power corporate, sir. Kalpa Ah, uh -huh, okay. He's okay. he's a chemical engineer from uh, government uh, government engineering college, Trishur. Okay, okay. So probably. Oh. Uh, Next time when we want to do something for our students, some some kind of a internship or some kind of a faculty visit, probably we should get in touch with Manju and uh, see if we can arrange our visit. Okay. We'll Definitely, I'll check with my husband, sir. Prior to COVID, they used to have some student visit, but during COVID, I think they had closed Bad. that. Yeah. No, the context of uh, Gopi proposing this is... Uh... I'll just put it in two lines. We are running what is called as a chem skill development center, oh. which is for final year chemical engineering students or fresh chemical engineering graduates. Okay. A kind of bridge program. We teach them what is not taught in the college, but what is required for the industry before somebody makes an entry. Yes. A awesome. three weeks program followed by 10 days of uh, implant training. Okay. So far, we have run some six batches. The feedback is quite good. Okay. Awesome, sir. Okay. I think uh, we have to prepare them for that dealing with work life. Right. How yes, to exactly. how to you know deal with your bosses? How to deal with your peers? Yeah. How to even dress sometimes? You know because they are not used to that formal way of dressing also sometimes. Dressing once they are given the uniform, there is no choice. <laughs> yeah. In the yeah, that's true. <laughs> nice. Okay, Gopi. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us. We stay in touch. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, put my LinkedIn ID in the chat window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll also put my mail ID in the chat window so that if you have any questions, I can clarify. Oh, yes, sure. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Manju. Thank you so much. For joining us. Any of you want to join that? Detail course also, you're welcome. Like seven, yeah, sure. maybe seven hours. Actually, it is eight and a half hours. Six and a half hours uh, group coaching and uh, yeah, two yeah. one hour individual coaching we do uh, with the authors. That's basic coaching foundation. Like complete end to end we cover in detail. Including, you know, uh, chapter review even. Like uh, what is what are the chapter names and how we can make it more effective or... Effective. Yeah, connect to the audience kind of thing. Fine, no problem. Thank you. My dream is to help create 100 uh, individual authors by year 2025. So. Oh, so coaching, uh, When I coach 12 batches, see, we say write at your own pace. We don't tell like internet, they say, no, write in five days. But I believe that a quality book takes time to write. So in five days, how can you produce a book on say chemical engineering or you know something really if you ask Kalki how much time it took him to write uh, one uh, book of Punyans definitely it would have taken more so five days you can write mini books only you can write a mini book on that topic but if you want to write a proper book definitely it will take time at least a month's time is minimum I guess mm. so we say write at your own pace but we help you through your journey as an author Thank you so much once again for inviting me. It was a huge honor for me to uh, be amongst all of you. And hope you to so see many more celebrity authors with innovative ideas like face selector, I think status quo by Pramesh. Some new topics, you know, it's, it's good to see different topics, books about different topics coming up in the future. Yes, Thank you so much.